Now something that happens with these fridges, uh, these car fridges, that you don't really have half my normal fridges and I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, it's a little thing that you've got to look after every once in a while. Now as you may realise you've got your evaporator plates on the inside of your fridge. Now often uh, with most house fridges that's in the back of the fridge. So you open the door and it's right at the back and then you'll notice like it may have a bit of condensation on it and then you've got like, this little plastic bit that sits under it like a little gutter um, and any of the condensation drips down into that gutter and goes down a little pipe um, you know inside the fridge and like it may actually be inside the wall of the fridge and it ends up going down to a little piece it's basically like a little plastic cup down there where the actual compressor is and the pipe from your condenser, uh, which is like your radiator looking thing at the back, um, goes through that little plastic container of water and it evaporates it back into the air. So you never have to empty it out. Now you see this with air conditioners because they are dripping water out of their outlet pipes onto the ground. But with these it's a little bit different. Now they're trying to be as efficient as they can and so every few months I've got to actually empty the water out and you say what's there like a little tray or something? No! There's no tray, there's no gutter, there's no nothing. This is what happens. I sort of suspected it was going to need it. Um, oh yeah, you can see there there's condensation on the uh, thing. I suspected it was going to need it and I was trying to look um, at it. Hang on a second. There we go. Um, to see if it had any, and I could see a little bit, but I just thought, oh no, she's right. Um, it doesn't really look like there's much. And that was after I'd filled the fridge up. But now I've emptied the fridge out. You can see it. Let's get rid of the mat out of here. And there it is. She's built water up in the bottom. And that's what it always does. That's quite a bit actually, because I should have probably done it a few weeks earlier. But see, so the condensation comes off of your evaporator plate there. See a little bit there? And it just drips straight down. Now this is nice and efficient for the fridge because it's got no holes where there's any heat that could be possibly lost and the main reason I think is that the fridge moves around in transit and the water will be spilling all out over the flame and car seat and whatnot as you're bumping along the road um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, wipe all that out and that's just one little maintenance thing that you may not have known if you've never owned a car fridge and especially if you haven't used it for long periods of time at a run like I do